back, everybody. Well, we're going to explore learning some more stuff about how to use uh, Arduinos today. Uh, I've got a really neat project here. It's going to be kind of like uh, Assignment 3 where we got one light uh, to blink on and off. Now we're going to get four lights to blink on and off. So I'm going to start right here on our assignment page. And uh, of, of course, if you're just following along on the YouTube channel, uh, just learning about Arduinos on your own, you're not going to have access to this uh, Canvas page. Uh, but this is kind of uh, what, if you are in my class, I want you to do. So the instructions say, number one, watch this video, follow along with the video in your own Tinkercad as instructed. So just like we did in assignment number three, you'll kind of copy what I do and then do it on your own. Uh, step two, uh, when you have finished building the Arduino project like it's shown in this video, submit the public link uh, to the project uh, here. And then step three, this is the big thing. This is what we need to pay attention to because this is our goal for this uh, Arduino project. It says this project will get four LEDs to blink using an Arduino. You should be able to tell me how to use the following when you're finished. And you can see we still have int, we still have pin mode, we still have digital write, and we still have delay. So we're actually not really doing anything new here. Uh, I'm going to switch over to my Tinkercad and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Uh, first, I'm going to navigate to circuits. I'm going to show you a little bit of a hack here. So you can see here's the last thing that we did, Arduino assignment number three. I like to make things as easy as possible, so I'm not going to start fresh from scratch. Instead, what I want to do, because this assignment, assignment number four, is pretty similar, but instead of one light, I just have to add three more. So I can just add on to what I already have in assignment number three. So I'm going to click on my settings wheel and I'm going to duplicate that project right there. And it might take a second or two to think about that. So you can see that it's going to open up uh, that duplicated project. And if I look at its title, it says copy of Arduino assignment three. Well, I need to change that right away because this is now assignment four. So I'm going to get rid of the copy of, and I'm going to change the number three to the number four. All right. So I already have some stuff kind of built in here. Uh, now, I need to add some LEDs here because instead of having one LED, I'm going to have four. So I'm going to bring in just a few more LEDs here. So there's one. So I've got two LEDs total. There's three LEDs total. I can also click on an LED. I can use control C on my keyboard and to copy that component and then control V to paste it. And you can see I don't even have to go over and grab another one. So now you can see I have four LEDs. And they're going to blink on and off, so those are all digital functions. So I can hook these up to four digital pins. Well, let's go ahead and finish the circuit stuff here. So I'm going to click on my resistor, control C to copy it, control V to paste it, so that this LED on its short leg has, uh, or its cathode leg, has a resistor. I'm going to hit control V again because it's already copied. And I'm going to paste in another resistor to the cathode of this third LED. And then control V again. And all three of these resistors need to be hooked up to ground. So there's one ground connection. There's two ground connections. And you might see that the color of the wire is changing without me clicking on anything. That's because I'm just typing in numbers on my keyboard. So if I just type in the number one while that wire is selected, it will turn that wire black. And then, all right. So all four of these LEDs have a connection to the ground. Now let's just get them a connection to the pins. So pin two is powering the first light. So let's let pin three power the next light. Let's make that yellow. And then pin four is powering the next light. Let's make that one orange. And pin five will power that last light. 
and we'll make that turquoise. So now my circuit is all the way set up. I have pins two, three, four, and five attached to the anodes of all of these. And remember, if you need to pause your video so that yours looks like mine, that's perfectly acceptable. So we have all four of these LEDs that are attached to the pins. Now I'm gonna go here into code and hallelujah. All the stuff that I had written in the last one, well, because we copied this project is still there. So again, I like to make things go quickly. So I'm not going to retype this whole thing. I mean, you can if you want to, but I'm going to select this line. I'm gonna go control C to copy it. And I'm gonna go control V to paste it. So now let's just kind of think about things. I have, I can't rename this one like this. I cannot do that because that means I have done this. I have created a variable called lead pin and assigned it to pin two. But then I have the same variable and this time I'm gonna assign it to three. That means I kicked out the number two from that variable and put in the number three. I don't wanna do that. I want one variable for the first light another variable for the next light. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna say, well, this is lead pin one. Lead pin one is pin two. Lead pin two is pin three, okay? And so I'm just gonna paste this again and I'm gonna change it a little bit. So lead pin three, well, that's gonna be pin four. And then lead pin four, number five and just like Python guys I can have blank lines uh, the Arduino will just basically ignore those blank lines so you could do it like that I always like to give myself a space or two for organizational purposes so you can see I have uh, lead pin one lead pin two lead pin three lead pin four and they're all assigned to the pins uh, that they're attached to two three four and five so if I go down here uh, I'm going to now copy my pin mode command because I need to turn on each of those pins. I need to get them all set up to be output pins because each one of those pins, pin 2, pin 3, pin 4, pin 5, needs to send current out to the LEDs. So I copied my pin mode command and now I'm going to paste it. Uh, except the very first one should not be lead pin because we don't have a variable called lead pin right now. I have a variable called lead pin one and lead pin two and lead pin three and lead pin four. So let's make sure that I've got that set up correctly. So lead pin one is now set up to be an output pin. That means lead pin two is going to be an output pin. Uh, lead pin three will be an output pin. And then lead pin four will be an output pin. And I'm going to leave my serial begin. Ooh, that's a mysterious thing. I can't wait to show you guys how to use uh, the serial communication stuff. But we're just going to leave it there uh, just for the sake of having a good habit of having the serial stuff set up in most of our sketches. All right. Now, if I go and I look at my old uh, loop, my old void loop, if you remember, we turn one light on, keep it on for a second, turn the next light on, and keep it on for a second. Well, now I want all four of these LEDs to turn on before I wait for a second. So what I'm going to do is, well, first of all, I'm going to change this guy to lead pin one, right? I need to digital write lead pin one because that's, I want that one to turn on. Remember, we don't have a variable anymore called lead pin. It's now lead pin one, lead pin two, lead pin three, and lead pin four. But... I'm gonna just copy this digital write command and I'm going to paste it right below it. So remember the Arduino does things incredibly fast. So if I turn on lead pin one first and then turn on lead pin two, you can see I just changed that to lead pin two. What's going to happen is that it will turn on lead pin two so quickly after it turns on lead pin one, you won't even be able to notice. To you, it will look like both of these things were turned on at the same time. 
Let's go ahead and see what this looks like so far. Oh, it's telling me I have a problem here. Oh, yeah, my problem is right here because I tried to use the lead pin variable. I don't have the lead pin. Let's just change that to lead pin one. Let's just see what this uh, sketch looks like so far. So you can see the first LED is blinking on and off, and the second one is just staying on. And that makes sense if I look at my program. So you can see I turn my LED one on, and then I wait a second. And then I turn my LED pin one off, and I wait a second. The only thing I did to LED pin two, however, was turn it high. That means the only thing I did was turn it on. So that LED is always going to be on. So that means I need to grab that line copy it and I need to turn it off now so I'm gonna put that just below turn off lead pin one I hope if you figured out how to do the rest of this program you could just do it on your own but if you want to see me do the rest here we go uh, I'm gonna copy that line uh, oh I need to go down here because I don't want down here lead pin 2 to be high I want it to be low because I need to turn it off well, what else do I need to turn off? I've turned off lead pin 1. I've turned off lead pin 2. And now I need to do this. I need to change. Uh, I pasted that again. And now I've, got, I've changed it to lead pin 3. And I'm going to change that to low. Again, you can copy and paste this stuff or you can type it out. It's up to you. So, oh, but here's a weird thing. I turned off lead pin 3 without ever turning it on. So maybe I go back to my turn it on section and I turn on lead pin 3. So right now, I've turned on 1 and then immediately 2, then immediately 3, and then I've waited a second. That means pins 1, 2, and 3 are going to be on for a second. And then I turn pin 1, 2, 3 off and then I wait a second. So lead pins 1, 2, and 3 should be blinking now. Let's, let's double, double check that. I always like to, wherever I can, uh, run my uh, sketch to see what it looks like so far. And you can see, yeah, lead pins 1, 2, and 3 are blinking on and off. So that means the only thing I have to do is turn on lead pin 4. So I'm going to paste my line. I'm going to change it from 2 to 4. And then down here, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to change from 4, and I'm going to change it to low. And now let's kind of read this program like the Arduino is. Lead pin 1 will turn on. Lead pin 2 will turn on. Lead pin 3, and then lead pin 4. They will turn on so quickly, it will look like they all turn on at the same time. But now we're going to force it to wait one second. That means all four of those lights are turned on, and then we're going to wait. And now all four were, are going to turn off, because remember, they're going to turn off just as quickly as they turn on. And then I'm going to force it to wait a second. All right? Uh, and then I'm going to do a neat trick here. And I want to see this, what you do. Up here, I'm going to go up and create a new variable. Um, and I'm going to call it int. Uh, and let's call it wait. And then over here, I'm going to type in 1,000. And I'm going to end it in a semicolon. So what I did is I just created a variable for our waiting. Well, where do we do our waiting in our program? We do it in these delays. So instead of waiting for 1,000 milliseconds, I'm going to type in wait right here and then down here I'm going to type in wait so what's going to happen is it's going to delay for as long as the wait variable is so you could see that right now the wait variable is 1000 or 1000 milliseconds so if I start my simulation it will work just like it did before right it is still waiting 1,000 milliseconds. But if I wanted to speed up the blinking, right, what I want to do is I want to change this so that it's a smaller amount of time. So let's make it go twice as fast. So I'm going to cut it in half. So now my lights are going to turn on and stay on for wait. 
You can see it's going gonna, it's gonna to delay by weight. And weight is 500. That means it's going to stay on for half of a second. And then they're all going to turn off. And then it's going to delay for weight. And weight is half of a second. That means they're going to be off for half a second. Because that's a shorter amount of time, this should blink much faster. Yeah, you can see I, I uh, changed uh, how much it's blinking. So what you can do is if you want it to speed up or slow down, you can only have one number to change now instead of changing all these numbers down here. So that's just a little uh, shortcut trick I wanted to introduce you to. And I should see that in what you turn in. But this is how to successfully do Arduino assignment number four. All right. Thanks for watching along, guys. Uh, I'm excited to see how much you're learning with all this Arduino stuff. We'll see you next time.